We now know how many species have been named in the world, marine species, and we, this allows us to predict how many more remain to be discovered. We think we're, a, we're ahead of extinction rates uh, at, the, at the moment. Well, I, I started the project in, in Europe when I was, I was based in Ireland, and we wanted to collaborate in Europe, and one of the problems was that we were using different names of the same species in different countries, and the only way to resolve this was to produce a, a list of all the species in Europe and flag which were the same species with different names. So it seemed a straightforward exercise and, and we got through that in a couple of years. And of course this is a bigger issue because it's the same problem globally, it gets even worse. That's why we created this database. So now we've over 200, nearly 300 people internationally all contributing their knowledge to one database on marine species. We're getting about 600,000 unique visitors per year. That's about 90,000 people a month and over 4 million hits the website. And that's just for marine species. So one of our visions is imagine if all species on Earth were in one online database like this, how many people would be using it? Students, you know, secondary school kids, everybody. At the moment, we're trying to look at expanding the database to include habitat, ecological, and other biological information about the species. So then we can classify them not just about their taxonomy and their uh, relationships between species, but about where they fit in the food webs and their habitats, and information about their conservation status. One of our models as well was that we don't duplicate anything. So we invite other scientists who've created their own databases to share their data with ours. In some cases, they keep running their own database, and every few months we make a copy and we include it in our database. In others, they've said, oh gosh, your infrastructure is so much better than ours. Why don't we put our database into yours and we'll become the editors in your system? We never had any qualms about making this open access because we wanted the information to be used. That would create positive feedback and, and recognition of the scientists giving their contribution as well. I've become quite involved in, in writing articles about d data publication and how to make data freely available. Uh, some of these have been a little controversial because some people are a bit holding on to their data. But I've, I've recently argued that data should be published, and data is so important, it shouldn't be just published as sort of somebody puts the data out there, but it should go through a quality control process like we use for published papers. So it should be peer-reviewed, um, and, and it really needs to be made open access.